Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. All right, I'm switching it up every week. You tell me how you want it sang. I'm going to sing it for you. I might lose listeners. Okay, so on today's quickie, because it's time for another quickie, you guys, and there's always time to fit in inspiration. So on today's quickie, I want to talk to you about The difference between the things that we say in our mind and the things that we actually are. And what do I mean by that? So I was on a run the other day and I was thinking about all of the people as my book has come out who have told me that they want to write a book, which by the way, can we talk about this really quick? Okay, so I had no idea the significance of reviews on your book and why they're so important. And number one, I just want to say thank you because I have gotten some really, really awesome, incredible reviews. Number two, I am going to have a really big ask right now. If you guys are willing to rate and review my book, that would mean everything. Okay, so let me tell you why. So all of these bookstores, I'm not even kidding, I'm in Santa Monica, and all of these bookstores are like going out of business basically here. And what's happening is there's a lot of different Amazon stores coming in. And what Amazon does is Amazon bookstores, in order to carry your book, you have to have great reviews and ratings or you don't get in the bookstores basically. So you guys, I walked into the Amazon bookstore in this new redone mall in, I think it's called Century City, so this new Century City Mall. And it's a really small bookstore, and I was like, oh my God, is my book here? And someone had tagged me in it, and I was super excited. And I walk up, and there is my book. It's a super small self-development section, and there's my book next to Lewis Howes, next to all of these other authors, and there are reviews on it. So your actual reviews are written underneath the book, the way they do it. So it's almost just like being online. And underneath it was a review that someone had written. And uh, the more reviews that you get, the longer that you can stay in the bookstore is kind of my understanding. And also the books with the most reviews were on the front table which was really, really awesome. But I also want to really be on the front table, um, which would rock because more people would understand what the book is and see it because right now I'm in the back of the bus. So you guys, I was in the back of the bookstore. Just kidding. It's under self-development, but it was towards the back. Um, but truly, I looked at some of the books. And I'm like, holy crap, this woman has 1,500 reviews and her book just came out and she was front and center. And I'm talking about Miss Rachel Hollis, who I'm obsessed with. You guys go grab that book. Girl, wash your face. She's amazing. I'm going to have her on the podcast. Let's manifest it right now. But that's my big ask. And that that is why. So any of you who want to write a book or any of you who are thinking of doing podcasts, reviews and ratings are so vital. And I get it. It's not easy. You're listening to the podcast right now. You have to get off. You'd have to go over there. You'd have to rate it. You'd have to review it. But please go and do it. It would rock my world. Okay, guys, if you do it and you tag me in your Insta story, I will shout out your page. So go rate and review my book, Pretty Pretty Please, on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, preferably Amazon, um, and do a screenshot and I will shout out your page on Instagram because I just want to shout it out and get you out there. I don't know. I I feel a song coming on. I think it would be shout, but I will hold off on that. Okay. So 
that's what I want to talk about because so many people have been talking about how they want to write a book, but then they say, listen to this, they say, but Lori, I'm not a writer. And I'm like, what the hell? I wasn't a writer either. (laughs) Like I wasn't a writer before I started writing, but technically we can all write. So we're all writers. So I want to talk to you about the difference between being a writer and being an editor. And this is not just what the podcast is about, you guys. This is the difference between when we say, oh, I would love to do that, but I'm not a blank, right? So when we look at businesses, you have all of these different roles. That'd be like me saying I'm not a business person or I'm not an entrepreneur or I could never make seven figures or I could never make eight figures or whatever that looks like for you, six, seven, eight, whatever it looks like. Let's go to nine. Let's go to 10 on this podcast because I absolutely believe that we are going to have plenty of those in the future when we take all of these glass ceilings off of ourselves. Because you guys, women are freaking powerful. So are men. Thank you for listening, guys. Um, You're absolutely amazing, by the way. So we have to define the stories in our head or we have to call out the stories in our head. So before when I said, oh, I really want to write a book, but I'm not a writer. Okay, Yes, you can write. If you can hold a pen or if you can type on a keyboard or if you can speak into a recorder, you're a writer. So when you start writing, some people want to just write. Some people want to be able to write on the computer. They want to handwrite. They want to do whatever. And then some people also want to record into audio or have somebody transcribe it. But you guys, you're going to have an editor. You're going to have somebody who says, or you're going to have a writing coach, right? So you're going to hire all of the people around you or have all of the people around you who are going to help you become that thing, who are going to support you in your mission. So yes, in the beginning, you feel like a shit show on fire. Yes, you do. Absolutely. It's part of it. And if you skip over that, I'm guessing you'll never make it to your end goal. So get ready to be a beginner again. Get ready to fail. Get ready to fall. It's freaking awesome. That's where you learn some of the most awesome lessons about yourself. It's called building the resilience muscle. It rocks. I just expect it. I love being a beginner again. It mixes up my energy. It keeps me really happy. It keeps me from being Captain Depresso. So do something new, do something scary, and also know the difference between what you're saying. So if you look at someone and you're like, how does she do it all? She is not. She's not doing it all. She has a ton of people around her supporting her because she has gotten really clear on being able to call out her weaknesses and hire people who have those strengths so that she can be freed up to dance within her strengths and get even better and even better. So I want you to notice the disempowering story that you're telling yourself of why you can't do something. You will do it and you will find the people who will help you and you will find the team. That is the resourcefulness. So in the beginning, if you say, God, I'd love to start a podcast, but let's remove the butts. Let's remove all butts. I know butts are super trending and popular right now, but we got to remove the butts so that we can finally do and become the women that we know that we are. And anything but that is going to not be a happy, fulfilled life. Because we were put on this planet, just like Elizabeth Gilbert talks about, jewels were buried deep down inside of us. And it's our job to figure out what those are. But we cannot do that without massive action and trying and being okay with failing and knowing that nobody does this alone. If you look at all of these people, let's just even talk about people on Instagram who have massive pages, right? And you're like, oh my God, I don't know how she does it. How do you keep up with your Facebook? How do you keep up with your Instagram comments? I don't. I have massive help, you guys. I know where I want to be. I want to be doing my Insta stories, but I don't want to be all over my Facebook. I have trained and taken so much time with my team so they know exactly how I would answer or I pre-write answers to general questions questions and say, refer back to this. I don't do it all by myself. I couldn't. I would have panic attacks and I would be in the ER or massively medicated, just being honest. So for those people who you think are doing it all themselves, they are either um, about ready to check in to a padded room 
or they have a massive team that they have hired. And that's why we call our teams family. That's why we get so incredibly fierce about what energy and who we have around because they are your voice out in the world, you guys. They are your voice out in the world. Yes, in the beginning, I did it all on my own and it was crazy. And I will tell you, hire before you are ready. Hire someone who can help you with all of the things that are robbing you of your energy or taking you away from your creativity or from getting better at mastering what you believe could potentially be your craft. You guys hire for an hour a week. Hire for two hours a week for your email. Like go pay someone 15, 20 bucks an hour to go through and do the things that suck the life out out of you and stop you from becoming that writer or becoming that entrepreneur, becoming that CEO, because we only have so much energy in a day and do not lose your energy to the stories of I'm not a blank. Yes, you are, because you will find the people who will teach you or who will allow you and help you to step into that. It's going to rock your world, you guys. You are pure magic and you know it. That's why you listen to this podcast. Is because there are people, there are men, there are women on this podcast who, if you resonate with them at all, if it lights you up, if you get goosebumps, it's because they are you. I am you. And you cannot enjoy something. You cannot sit there and be moved and be like, you know, feel completely alive by something that is not within you. It's your awakening. It's your awakening. So when you hear something that resonates, that's because it is you and it's waking you up. Yes, step into that, feel it, feel it with every single cell in your body. And know that when I say that, it is the one million percent truth. What's it feel like to be so incredibly awesome? When you feel that, that is when the very thing that created you, the very energy, the very source is just jumping for joy that you finally decided to own and share the gifts, all of the time spent, all of the thought put into making you into the most rad human being that you are. You have to own that. You have to own that. Do not die with that beautiful gift buried inside of you. I'm sending you so much love today. I'm so grateful for you. And if you feel moved, please go write me a review and rate because I would really like to be on that front table. Just saying. All right, you guys, sending you so much love. And until next time, earn your happy. Bye, everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back 
And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you wanna create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're gonna customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.